In terms of where the landscape is going, I think it's uncertain. Obviously, I think the data from Keynote 59, which I just led, encourage us to use this as a monotherapy in refractory disease. How that changes the first and second line, which is principally chemotherapy and the use of ramucirumab, um, is uncertain. Right now, um, we will see studies that look at pembrolizumab in earlier lines. We will see studies that look at it in combination with chemotherapy. And moreover, there's even data suggesting if you combine pembrolizumab with ramucirumab, the VEGF antibody, you can actually get synergy. And those data are probably going to be coming out soon. So it may be a combination of all the above, which seems like an aggressive approach, but I think the data will suggest it's well tolerated and it may substantially improve the survival of patients.